move on to surface tension. You know, what effect uh, does this have dealing with lane care products? So surface tension is a little bit more difficult to describe and to explain because we don't have that easy visual of thick and thin like we had with viscosity. Okay. Um, so surface tension is defined as the elastic tendency of a fluid at the surface. Um, in very simple terms, if you looked at a fluid, uh, as the surface of the fluid is broken, it starts to show elastic tendencies and it actually flexes. So we measure surface tension in the lab using a small ring that's immersed in the liquid and the ring is withdrawn slowly by the equipment from yeah. the surface of the liquid. And as it starts to pull, you can actually see the liquid flex up so the surface looks like a U. And the force required to break that surface is what is measured as the surface tension. Um, a simpler way to sort of think of it is the ability of the fluid to flow across the lane. If I was to put a droplet of lane conditioner on the lane and it sits in a bead like this and doesn't flow well, it's because it's higher surface tension and those molecules of that conditioner want to stay together. But if I put it on the lane and it starts to flow, it has a lower surface tension because the molecules don't want to stay as close together. That makes sense. So without throwing like another variable into the mix, that's also related to surface energy. Surface energy and surface tension aren't, um, they aren't independent of each other. Uh, one is dependent on the other. So not only is there an interaction um, at, the, at the surface where there's the air contact, there's also an interaction between the liquid and the lane surface. So we found in our studies that there's a fine balance of where we want to be uh, in, we'll call it the honey spot okay. uh, of surface energy and surface tension. Uh, and to throw even another variable into the mix, uh, we want to make the ball, or excuse me, we want to make the lane conditioner like the lane, but we don't want it to like the ball as much. If it likes the lane, it's going to adhere to the lane more. Uh, if the surface tension is in that nice realm, it's going to wet across the lane, but it's not going to flow all over the place where we don't want it. But if it likes the ball, it's going to adhere to the ball more, and then we see more carry down. So there is a little bit of a balance there, uh, and the challenge is for us to find it. Um, if I could put surface tension into a term that most people could relate to, uh, you've probably washed your car and then, you know, we're in Florida so it rains all the all time. The time. Um, if you go out after you've washed your car and you see little beads of water and it dries and you get those awful water spots, mm -hmm. uh, you know that if you washed and then waxed your car, the water would then sort of sheet off of the surface of the hood. That's because you've effectively changed the surface ten tension or the surface energy between the water and the hood of your car. Um, we're doing that. We're adjusting the surface tension to make it like the lane, to make it flow across the lane more effectively. Uh, so if you have like these little beads with a higher surface tension, you actually have microscopic parts of the lane that aren't covered by lane condition. We want to make sure we cover as much of the lane as we can, yeah, right, so that it's much more even. Excellent. Well, Brandy, I want to thank you so much for coming out here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to really wrap up our show for today. We hope that uh, you stay tuned in to our Facebook page, as well as go to www.kegel.net. There's a lot of different information on that website as well. Um, Brandy, you've mentioned that a lot of times technicians... Yes. Um, if you go on our website, the email form, uh, any emails that come into the website about uh, any chemical questions, uh, when the tech office can't answer them, they send those right to me. So that's always a good way if you have extra questions or uh, you just want more information. That's always a good way to get in touch with us. Excellent. Well, thank you again. Thank you. It was great and to be here. Have a wonderful day.